Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, as you can see, this video, update on how I paid off my mortgage without paying a dime, was removed by YouTube. So I asked them why. They still haven't explained why. They said it violates the terms and policies. Ladies and gentlemen, the very same information was included in this video. So how in the world could it violate their terms and policies? So let's tell you what was discussed in that video since they want to be idiots. So we're going to do it real simple. We're going to do 3-1 Uncle Charlie's Staples. And we're going to do 3-1-1-3. We're going to give you all an understanding. Since YouTube wants to be stupid, let's go ahead and be stupid with them. Oh, Mama, he getting ready to do some stupid stuff. Oh, get your pen and paper because we're going to learn something now. Hold on, y'all. We're going to do B-A-R-D dot G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-O-M. Now, I love it when I use YouTube and Google to get YouTube and Google stuff, and they say it's a violation of their policy, but it comes from their website. That's amazing, ain't it? Let's get rid of you because we're not saying anything to you right now. All right, we're going to ask Bart a question. And now you're going to see that move right there, okay? I want y'all to see. Now, I'm not going to reveal all the information because I can get in trouble. You don't mind getting in trouble, do you? No, I don't mind getting in trouble. But if I get in trouble, you get in trouble. Okay, when I say dip, you dip, okay? We don't want y'all to get in no trouble. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, here's Bard. And we're going to take Bard and we're going to pin it. That's what I. That's why I opened him. That's one of the reasons why I opened him because I need to pin him. He needs to be there permanently. Don't want him to move. Don't move, Bart. Okay. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen. We can go here. Three one one three. Get out of here. Nobody asked you. God, move. See, always want to interfere with me. Okay, we can go here. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go here, we want this one because this is the code. What's the code say? Accepting gifts. Oh, my mama told me never accept a gift, especially from a stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, this ain't that type of gift. Really? What type of gift is it? This is the type of gift that keeps giving. You know, the gift that keeps giving. This one keeps on giving. This is in order to provide the people of the United States. Why are they providing, making provisions? That's what provide means. Provisions for the people of the United States with the chance to make gifts to the United States government who took away their money in 1933 to reduce the public debt. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why the government is making it possible for you to discharge your debts through the United States to reduce the public debt. Wait, it didn't say discharge debt. Yes, it did. It said to give you an opportunity to discharge your debts. It says give you an opportunity to make gifts. Oh, you don't understand. So let me show you how you discharge your debt, really. Sorry. If that gentleman had not done that video, I would not be able to show this to you. I didn't mean to click on that. I did not mean to click on that. Research, re, re, refresh, refresh, recall. Okay, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We got to ask Bod a question. So give me a second. I need information from you explaining on how debt is considered property, comma, how debt can be used as collateral, comma, how debt can be sold and bought, comma, and do you think you can provide at least six case citations supporting each of these conclusions? Question mark. Stop listening. Did you see what I did there, y'all? No, pay attention. 
Many of you didn't know that debt is property. Many of didn't, you didn't know that debt can be used as collateral for a loan. Many of you didn't know that you can buy and sell your debt, comma, i.e. Did you hear me say comma? Because I'm so used to speaking to the system through the voice recognition. You can gift that debt to the United States. Wait, gift the debt to the United States? Hold on. You can make gifts as long as it's helping to reduce the public debt. Hold on. Debt is property. In the United States, debt is considered property. This means that it can be bought and sold and used as collateral. The legal basis for this is Uniform Commercial Code, which defines debt as the right to payment. UCC provides that debt can be transferred to another person, i.e. assigned or sale, sold. Debt is collateral. Debt can be used as collateral to secure a loan. When a borrower pledges a debt as collateral, the ledger has, or the lender has the right to take possession of the debt. If the borrower defaults on the loan, this gives the lender a security interest in the debt, which means the lender has priority over the creditors and even in bankruptcy. Debt is sellable asset. Debt can be sold as a sellable asset. Ladies and gentlemen, I will take this and I will put this at the bottom of the video so that you can understand it. Now, hold on. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Can you provide six case citations supporting this conclusion? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, what I've asked him is under 311, uh, 3113 of the U.S. Code, Title 31, individuals can make gifts to the United States in order to help reduce the public debt. And since debt is construed as property, a person can gift to the United States their outstanding debt that is held by another creditor. And it can be gifted to the United States. And I asked him to provide case law supporting this. Here are six cases supporting the conclusion that a person may gift to the United States their outstanding debt. So why are all of you in debt? I told you my site is not a debt site. But again, you can gift your debt to the United States. The young man who did the video, this is what he was doing. He did it unknowingly, even though he knew he was doing this. He followed a particular pattern. There were several things he misstepped in, but because he talked about it, it gives me the right to talk about it. And thus, taking down my video doesn't help because I'm now providing you the case law supporting exactly what I'm saying. Now look, I'm not gonna give you more details than this right now, okay? There's so much going on, we're trying to help so many people that I don't have the time to do one-on-ones with all of you guys. The information I'm providing, the video I just did on driver's license and all that stuff, look, it is.